And welcome in the shave of the day. It's a little overdue. Oh, yeah, I am down for a shave. I've got about uh, four days growth. Four days. What was I thinking? Oh, my goodness. It's definitely time for a shave. The EDC of the day, I am carrying this beauty, the ZT Zero Tolerance. Yes, that is desert brown in color, G10. This is the ZT0561. Don't want to get the numbers mixed up. The 0561 is, is the one that's made with Elmax steel. And I love this desert brown. It's uh, hard to come by. You can't find this one every day. And when you do, people are asking outrageous amounts of money for them. I don't know why. I guess, yeah, maybe I do because it would take an amazing amount to, to get this one from me and it's not for sale. So it does have IKBS, Icona Korth uh, bearing system, ball bearings on either side. The Icona Korth bearing system, the ball bearings really make that sucker fire out and it's buttery smooth. I love this particular knife. I got it off of my buddy Jacob Thompson. Never been uh, regretting it one minute since. <laughs> uh, I do have some titanium heat treated uh, beads. Schmuckatelli. That's where that one. Uh, that's what that one is. A schmuckatelli. Um, that's the the small. There's a jumbo size too that are not made of titanium, but that's titanium. Another titanium bead and one at the bottom. If you know what uh, they charge for titanium, the, the beads cost more than the knife. I'm joking. <laughs> I'm not that crazy. I mean, eh, I'm a little crazy, but not that crazy. Another EDC I'm carrying today is a, a big whoppa. A whoppa. Whoa, it won't even fit on the screen. What? <laughs> I love this knife. I have to get it out every now and then and pack it. My AGA Campolin from Italy. Handmade in, uh, I believe it is Milano, Italy. I may be wrong about that. It doesn't say on the blade. It just says uh, Italy. But uh, this is water buffalo horn, it says. Um, can't prove that by me. I, I'm just happy I finally got it. This is a 15 inch, by the way. I do have the 13 inch too from AGA Campbellin. Those people have been hand making knives in Italy for hundreds of years. It's a family and they do it great. They do a great job. And I love this one. That's the big baby. And uh, every now and then I just get it, <laughs> stuff it down in the pocket. And it, believe it or not, it's it goes all the way down in the pockets. Nothing shows. Today's shave of the day is a little special. Okay, and that's why I'm sitting down. Because <laughs> uh, I've got some good news. You can almost hear the angels singing. What is that? Oh, wow. Oh, I know why. I bet, I bet it's because of Captain Hunter's sense of the seven seas. New soaps are in. Yeah, we got the soaps. Ooh, we got the aftershaves, yeah. Mutiny and Blimey. Mutiny Bay Rum and Blimey, which is Bay Rum with lime in it. Uh, when you get these, please remember, they do have essential oils in them. They're not made of completely 100% essential oil, so don't think that. But 
just the inclusion of some essential oils will mean that it will have some sediment. So you have to shake it up. It has been <laughs> strained and triple strained. Uh, in fact, uh, it has over 20 ingredients. In fact, I wrote them down just so I could tell you guys. Just so you'll know. I didn't want to overlook anything and forget because sometimes I, I'll start on the list and I'll say something twice and one thing leads to another and then I've forgotten one of the ingredients. But uh, the way this came about, I had, I had uh, a couple of friends... And uh, we were talking about some bay rum, and, and we, we noticed that all the bay rum that we've sampled or we bought, and uh, I mean, the, I've got some good bay rum or expensive bay rum. That doesn't mean it's good, but even my, my St. John's Virgin Island bay rum, uh, they've got a beautiful wicker container. It's hand wrapped and it's so intricate. But it's it just sets your face on fire because the majority of ingredients inside consists primarily of alcohol. I mean, that's just how it is. Now, I'm not saying everybody does that. No, especially the artisans, you know, they're not that way. But some of them are. And that means that we had a little discussion and we wanted something different. Some of my friends said, well, why can't we do that? Why? And the uh, next question was, how in the hell do you make bay rum? And then one thing led to another, and I said, well, I'll do it. And uh, me and my big mouth, <laughs> it ended up costing me a lot of extra money out of my own pocket. But that's okay. Don't care. Cost was not the issue. I wasn't in it to make money. I'm still not in it to make money because uh, you can ask my wife. I'm not making no money. Honey? No way, no how. <laughs> I knew she was listening. <laughs> no, I'm not making money. Um, but that's okay. I wanted to give back to the wet shaving community. The guys and gals on there and all the groups I'm in have been so nice to me. I mean, super kind. I have had friends... I know one guy in particular not long ago that had to have spent over $300 on me alone just to, to send me some soaps and aftershaves. I know he had to have spent that much money. I won't say any names. I don't want to embarrass the guy. But David Bradner, you know who you are. I know you. You spent some money on me, buddy. And I, I love you for it. I mean, you're an awesome guy. But... Uh, we were friends way before that, <laughs> so th that just goes to show you, he, he wasn't trying to buy my friendship. He knows better, and he is an excellent friend. Got a beautiful family, a new little baby girl. What a Christmas that guy is celebrating this year. He has a lot to be gracious and thankful for, too, so that was his way of paying it forward, and I do the same thing, and he said that it was my time, quote-unquote, my time to shine. So he uh, he hooked me up, and I will never, ever forget that guy for that that touching moment. I mean, I, I liter it literally brought tears to my eyes the day I opened those packages. And, and there's a video of it where I did it live if you want to watch. But, uh, okay, that being said, I wanted you to know that I, I didn't have any help making the aftershave, but... I had to get a little assistance and I wanted some assistance in making the soap because I wanted the shave soap to be something I would want to use, something I would be proud to use or enjoy using. I wanted the shave soap to be a top quality shave soap because why not? The aftershave splash, this stuff is top shelf. Yes, it does cost a little bit more, but I have handpicked, I mean literally handpicked, the ingredients from all around the Caribbean to make the best West Indies flair type bay rum and bay rum with lime, mutiny bay rum and blimey bay rum with lime that, that money could buy. I wanted it to be the best ingredients. So when I had to do that, that meant 
I had to do a lot of research. <laughs> I mean, I, I stayed up late at night and late at day <laughs> all night long, uh, just researching, trying to find out more information. Like, uh, one question that, one of the first questions that came to me was where am I going to get my, my bay leaves checked in town locally? That was a, a flop. They don't have any bay leaves in town other than the kind you cook with. And the kind of bay leaves that are the West Indies bay leaf, the kind that is used for uh, aftershave or uh, colognes. That particular bay leaf is called the um, pimenta racemosa. That's the, I guess the genus or the type of uh, bay leaf. Uh, pimenta racemosa. Uh, that's basically a West Indies bay leaf. I scored some West Indies bay leaves that were being made by an individual who became a friend of mine in Hawaii. And I told her I would give them a try, and I did, and it smelled great. But honestly, it just wasn't the same. It took a lot more research and a little bit more money to find the best of the best. The, the best of the best, meaning the sand to soil ratio was particularly dominant all season long through the growing season and beyond to make and produce the type of bay leaf that I wanted. What would be called the best scented bay leaf you could find in the Caribbean. And it came from Granada. Granada. Yeah, believe it or not, Granada. So, that's just one ingredient. The question I said earlier that came to mind was where to find that bay leaf? That's where I found it. I then found out some other things too about all the other ingredients because I, I had a, a couple of old recipes, old barber recipes from the, the 1920s. Uh, and 30s and I thought well I will take some of these and I'll make, make my own concoction I wanted it to be my very own so it's uh, it's what I thought would make a good smelling bay rum and uh, after it produced it was really awesome the first batch I sat on for six months. I say sat on because you have to take the bay leaves and you have to soak them in some type of alcohol to draw out the essential oils that are in the bay leaves. Um, in the olden days, they used strictly rum. Uh, some people used uh, vodka. I've tried all of the above. Um, and then a lot of people nowadays, they use perfumers alcohol. And that's okay if that's, if that's your thing and you want to use perfumers alcohol. Uh, I did find a way that I could produce this and I could get by with sending this stuff overseas. And you say, how? They won't allow it. Customs, yeah. That's true, but what customs checks for is whether or not that alcohol is strong enough to light a fire or a flame. So you can pour it in a, a big spoon, strike a match to it, and see what happens. Took a lot of tests, <laughs> quite a few matches, but mine does not do that. So therefore they have allowed so far every batch to go through overseas, knock on wood. <laughs> that is something I'm proud of. Another reason that I'm proud of that is due to the fact that since there is not a lot of that alcohol 
it doesn't set your face on fire. You, you just don't sit there burning and stinging going, oh, I took my breath. Nothing like that. Okay, that's enough rambling. I apologize. We're 15 minutes underway and I haven't even gotten to the point. We have over 20 ingredients that are comprised to make this top shelf bay rum, aftershave splash, mutiny bay rum, and blimey. That's bay rum with lime in it. Ranging from witch hazel to rose water, neem oil, glycerin, bay leaves from Granada, as I mentioned, all spice berries from Jamaica. Yes, that's where you find the best. Uh, fresh whole cloves from India. Juicy vanilla beans from Papua New Guinea. So juicy they are shipped to me in individual glass test tubes with a plastic cap in the bottom or in the top. And in the very bottom, it's about this much vanilla floating where that bean drains and drips into the bottom of the tube. It's amazing. These are beans you don't find at Walmart. One bean is about this long. It's simply awesome. Also, cinnamon sticks. We're talking about five zero cinnamon. And you say, what the hell's that? Ah, five zero cinnamon is also known as Ceylon cinnamon. The cinnamon you get at Walmart is not cinnamon. Unless it says Ceylon or five zero cinnamon on it. The reason being, they use the cassia tree. They take the bark from the cassia tree, which smells very similar to what we deem as cinnamon. They take the cinnamon bark, this cassia bark, and then they treat it somehow and twist it up and stick it in a jar and sell it to you as cinnamon sticks. It is in no way cinnamon sticks. In fact, I've had a, a customer whose wife was allergic to cinnamon, I mean, to cassia, my bad, allergic to cassia. And he said, so you're positive this is not cassia? I said, I promise. His wife likes his, his, his mutiny bay rum. Also, it has juniper berries, from Italy. By the way, Ceylon is the name of the country now known as Sri Lanka, in case you were wondering why Ceylon. Ceylon cinnamon. Yeah. Okay. Rosemary that's fresh and lavender essential oils. Fresh ground ginger roots from China. I grind them myself. Dried fresh orange zest and peel that I hand grind, uh, as well as fresh lime zest and peel that's added to every batch. Now, the difference being, when you go for the blimey, the bay rum with lime in it, there's a little bit more of a kick of, there's more lime in it, okay? Also, I have aloe vera juice in it, vitamin E oil, argon oil, red castor, liquid silk, essentials, oils, of course, extracts, and Last but not least, fragrance. I can live about 23 or so ingredients. And if you want to sample, well, I'm not gonna charge you an arm and a leg. Basically, uh, it's just gonna charge you a few dollars for shipping. I, I do have some different samples that I probably will run out on. Uh, I've got these samples that Monica fixed for me. She took all of my aftershave, by the way, my bay rum, and she comprised the shave soap. I commissioned Monica Gillum with Vanule Soap of the Gods to produce my shave soaps. And she does an excellent job. My friend, I take my hat off to you, Monica. You're so awesome. These are single samples, which will cost a little less. They're in little Ziploc bags with one florette 
inside. That's what I call them. Little florets that uh, Monica is so famous for producing in her, her shave soaps. She pipes it in. That's so awesome. Oh, I can't wait. We got to shave with this stuff. <laughs> I got to shave. I got to shave. Okay. The price is going to be uh, just a little bit this year, uh, 26 bucks, and that's it. 26 bucks inside the continental U.S. $26, that's for your shave soap or for your aftershave, same price. And I'm hoping this time I can at least break even, financially speaking. Last time, I even had friends, a couple of friends who were with me on the beginning of the project when we talked about, you know, starting this, those guys even sent me like 50 extra bucks a piece <laughs> and I still didn't break even. Um, but that's okay. I'm not complaining. Don't get me wrong, please. Um, I'm not in it to make money. I'm not in it to compete. I'm not in it to compete with, with, uh, any of the big ball players out there. Uh, that's not my sole purpose. And you guys know who you are. And I'm proud of you guys. I'm proud that you're my friends. And I really love using your products. I use a bunch of them. I brag about them. But this is my version of what I thought a Bay Rum should be. So 26 bucks for some top shelf. That's not bad. Considering what you are getting in this product. <laughs> I mean, it really, I think you'll love it. I really do think so. If you haven't tried it before, all of the previous, uh, uh, reviews, Curtis George, he did an excellent review on it. And, uh, for that, I'm very thankful as well. I wanted to show you, uh, this is what the larger samples will look like. I haven't come across a price yet on how to do this. I will have that in the future. This has four of the florets inside. You can break those off and, you know, shave with those for a while when uh, these only have one, okay? We will work on that price a little later on, but it will be definitely affordable for you guys. Okay, since I do have so many things inside that are for your face, skin protectants, Moisturizers, stuff to make your face supple as a baby's bottom. Well, since that's in these aftershave splashes, it cuts out the need for any post-shave balm. I don't use post-shave balm when I use this stuff. So right now, here we go. Get some hot water going. This is going to be my bowl I use today, celebrating the American Red Cross. The brushes, I haven't cho chosen the one I'm going to use yet, but these are my Ever Ready brushes. This is the original 1963 model. Uh, a buddy of mine, he gave it to me. This he had never used. It was stored in his closet, and that's boar bristle, and it's very light. You can see the, the crease around there where uh, it was put together. I had this one uh, done by Anthony McKenzie Jr., a little customization. It's got a uh, synthetic sunrise knot in it, an AMAC synthetic. Uh, plus, he polished it up. He put some weight in the bottom. Uh, I think he glued some coins inside, I'm not sure. But it's got weight in the bottom now, much heavier than this light one. And that knot, plus he polished down all the little lines that were there. There are no grind lines any longer in this one, like you see in this one. And he also gold lettered the bottom as much as could possibly be since they are sort of uh, old and worn out. So I think today I'm going to uh, use the boar bristle one, the original boar bristle today with an ever ready. How about that? A single edge ever ready. Yeah, this is a single edge, ever ready. 
made in, oh, it says British made, ever ready, British made. And on the back it says made in England. My buddy, the blind shaver, Billy Blade Curtis, he gave me this razor. I love it. It's fantastic. This is only the second time I will have used this razor. Looking forward to it as well, Billy. Going to use the Jim brand single edge blade. Now I'm going to pop that right in here. Today's shave is going to uh, take a little extra length and uh, producing, but I will try and fast forward through some of the shaving and uh, speed it along, okay? There we have that. Uh, it was a choice. I, I had to pick between this one or these other single edge that I have. This is the Ever Ready, of course. This is the single edge Gem, G E M. That's the gem razor, it says. And uh, this one is actually made in the USA. It's silver in color, got a good spring snap to it. This one is the TTO, twist to open, and this is the Micromatic gem. The gem Micromatic twist to open single edge razor. Also made in the USA, so I'm thinking these were perhaps a little bit newer than was the one made in England. So I know this is an older style. You can tell just by, by looking at the, the old style, the way the handles ground and everything is just beautiful. And my shave soap today, I'm going to be using Mutiny. This particular one got uh, crushed, the, the container did. So uh, I'm just going to do dump some of this out in the bowl. Uh, it got crushed in the uh, in the mail. So, and then afterwards, I will uh, just stick it back in uh, another container. Here's what it looks like. Just uh, some of that. Get my brush wet down here. So, I hope you guys are doing well. I have uh, been sort of busy lately. We've been doing quite a bit. Uh, my wife and I recently got, in case you saw the video, we got a, a chameleon. Yeah, he's so cute. His name is Picasso. He's a, it's actually a female, but uh, we named it Picasso, or she did. And, uh, I've been learning quite a bit about uh, chameleons. You'd be surprised all you could learn about a chameleon if you, you know, you start trying to learn. And I have, I've learned a lot. It's amazing. All right, this stuff has already worked itself into a beautiful lather. Look at that. And I don't have on any pre-shave oil. I don't need it. Because like I said before, this stuff is so awesome for your face it's it's just it's got everything you need for your skin all the moisturizers i didn't even allow the chunks to <laughs> dissipate didn't have to you know it worked up a a really smooth quick lather it's good stuff of course it is from Cap Hunter Sense of the Seven Seas and my buddy Monica Gillum with Vanulae Soap of the Gods she is a sweetheart she really is look at that right there wow I have dropped a few pieces here and there so if you uh if you get a a soap that's damaged in the mail, then uh, I'm going to try to make sure that doesn't happen. But I'm not going to be shipping to you in mass quantities like uh, she had to ship to me. So it sh we shouldn't have any issues like that, I don't think. 
putting a little more water inside this. Try to uh, get rid of those little chunks, you know. While I'm doing this, we will pause and that way save some time, okay? Thanks, guys. Ta da! <laughs> that was a quickie. Nothing wrong with a quickie, I always like. <laughs> okay, here we go. This is awesome. I love the scent. It's great. Downward path. I don't really uh, have a lot to shave since I have a beard, you know. One thing I've noticed about using a, a single edge razor is the fact that seemingly you get uh, a very uh, typical or similar, I guess is the word I'm looking for, a very similar shave to that of a straight razor. What do you guys think? You ever notice that? that it's similar to a, a straight razor shave. I mean, the results, you know, what it, the way it feels afterwards. Maybe it's just me. I'd like to know your opinion. I love this razor. So, uh, did you guys have a fantastic Thanksgiving? I hope so. Mine was great. Of course I ate too much. <laughs> what about you? Mm, I think that's what... Uh, the majority of us do every year, right? We eat too much. Uh, I did a downward pass, now I'm just sort of uh, checking the beard line so I don't overshoot and cut into the hair. I have uh, been known to previously, at Christmas time, go, over, go ahead and uh, come up with a little thicker beard something that I, I don't know it's just me something I I do you know come up save it uh, not shave quite as much down just grow a, a little thicker sort of keep you warm in the winter months when people ask me why you do that I said it's my my deer hunting beard I didn't think you were a deer hunter I'm not <laughs> oh well just re-lathering a bit. Man, this soap is magnificent. Yep, it is. Truly is. Wonder must. Oh, I love it. And it makes you feel good, you know? To know that all the hard work that it, it took to get to this point, you know? It was really worth it, to me at least. You previous customers, I am very grateful to you. I am. I like this razor. It doesn't doesn't seem to be as uh, quite uh, aggressive as my other two single edge blades or razors. Doing the upward pass now. The reason being, my beard tends to grow like this from the bottom up to the about right there. I don't know why, it just does. Uh 
Aha. Uh -huh. Looks good. Looks good. Feels good, too. This is the over-the-shoulder mix. <laughs> my, my bowl matches my brush. Ooh. I love that soap. It is wonderful. It really is. I can't say it enough. Thanks, Monica. You did a great job. And the scent is just spot on. Thank you so much. No, guys, she doesn't do it for free. I guess that's why. I, I bet that's why I'm not making no money. Because <laughs> you know, I spent so much on the making of the aftershave. And then, you know, you got to pay for the extra. So, but Monica's a sweetheart though and she she does not take advantage of me she is so awesome great friend she's the kind of friend that if if i needed her at two o'clock in the morning just to talk about my life she'd be there i mean it wouldn't phase her at all it wouldn't make her mad for me to call her up Cause she's good people. Yeah, I'm just checking for spots missed out. Usually always one right there and right there. Yep. So now, did the downward pass, uh, do the upward pass. Christmas is already on us. Can you believe that? Isn't that wild? Christmas time is here almost. Hard to believe, but yeah, it is. You're having difficulties in deciding what to buy for, uh, your hubby, then uh, why not grab some some Captain Hunter Sense of the Seven Seas Mutiny Bay Rum or Blimey Bay Rum with Lime. Get the soap, get the aftershave splash, get all four. Got two matching, get one, whatever you want to do, whatever you can afford. I do appreciate you guys watching. Right now, I'm, I'm using some Mutiny Bay Rum. I love the scent of this stuff. By the way, they do have overflow cap restrictors, so you don't have to worry about it coming out in too much copious amount. Put that on that spot where I cut myself there. Normally I would be going, ah, but nope. And that, that scent is just, wow. Put a little over here and a little over here and a little bit under here. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that's nice. And obviously, that's all it takes to reach Ho Status. Bang, bang, it's here. Ho Status, 
Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. I apologize for this being so lengthy. Thanks if you watched and stuck with me throughout the entire video. You're awesome people. If you'd like more information on how to order, we'll have it down below. Thanks, guys. Peace.